Polaris is a pain in the bum for flat earthers. Not only does it move around the celestial North Pole, despite what they say, but it also cannot be seen from pretty much the entire Southern Hemisphere. But today, a flat earther is going to explain exactly why. Welcome along to another episode of Flat Earth Friday with me, Simon Dan. Thank you very much for joining me. Okay, back to today's video and the flat earther in question, Flat Out Truth. Now he's going to show us why you can't see Polaris from deep in the southern hemisphere. Let's see if he can solve the unsolvable. Here we go. Good morning, everyone. I uh, wanted to make a really, really quick video about a recent question I've been getting from a lot of people about not being able to see Polaris from the southern hemisphere. First of all, hemisphere means half of a sphere. They like to use that word to fit their globe model. But it's really only northern sky and southern sky. But we're going to use the word hemisphere so people understand what we are talking about in the video. As in reality. Great. Thanks, buddy. Now, the globe earthers are saying since you can't see Polaris from the uh, southern hemisphere proves that the earth is a ball. Well, do you blame us? If the Earth was flat, then surely, surely you'll be able to see Polaris from wherever you were on Earth. That makes sense. Well, it is true that anyone 23.5 degrees south of the equator cannot see Polaris. And you can't. You can't see it at all. That is not correct. The celestial North Pole is directly overhead the geographical North Pole of Earth. That is, it's in line with the axis of Earth's rotation. This removes Earth's tilt from the equation. However, Polaris is not exactly on the celestial North Pole. It sits around one degree off it. Which means there are a few occasions where you can see Polaris just south of the equator. Not 23.5 degrees south of it, though. And here's the reason why you can't see it. Uh, think of it like this. If you're in Australia, or South America, or Africa, South Africa, can you see the sun in North America over Canada and the United States? No, you can't. It's dark where you are. You can't see the sun as big and as bright as the sun is. You can't see it over America from Australia, South Africa, or South America. Hang on, hang on, South America. I hate to break it to you, buddy, but yes, you can see the sun in Canada and South America at the same time. And actually, you can see the sun in Canada, South America and South Africa at the same time, too. And just for the hell of it, you can see the sun in Canada, South America and Australia at the same time. So, yeah. And as all you flat earthers know, the reason that you can't see it is because it's gone out of your perspective. Well, even though you can. The same thing works with Polaris. The only difference is you will see the sun tomorrow in the southern hemisphere, but you will never see Polaris. And here's the reason why. Because the sun rotates. It comes back around over your head. Well, Polaris doesn't do that. Polaris stays in one spot, which is over the North Pole. It's permanently fixed there in the firmament. Even though it's not permanently fixed there, it does rotate around that celestial North Pole. So it never comes into your perspective. The only way you can see it is if you come to the Northern Hemisphere. Now, science will tell you that the reason that you can't see it from the Southern Hemisphere is because of the curvature of the Earth. Yeah, bloody big planet in the way. But they also tell you that you can't see the boat anymore because it disappeared over the, the curvature of the Earth. And they also tell you the reason the sun disappears beyond the horizon is because it disappeared over the curvature of the Earth. But we all know that if you use a good telescope, you could bring the boat back into view and you can bring the sun back into view. Okay, here we go then. This is a challenge for you, Flat Out Truth. Go out at 1 a.m., wherever you are, and bring the sun back into view with a telescope or a Nikon P1000 or whatever they are they like to use. Good luck. No cheating, though. Don't be going to northern Canada in the northern hemisphere summer. 
But here's the big difference. The Earth is so big, you cannot bring Polaris into view from the Southern Hemisphere. It's just too far away. But the sun isn't too far away. Okay, interesting. Now think about it like this. If we all live on the same street, we could all see the street light at the end of the street. But someone two miles away can't see that street light at the end of our street. But if they come over here onto our street, well, they can see the street light at the end of the street. Yeah, but if your street lamp was three miles in the sky, those people two miles away would be able to see it, wouldn't they? You are literally debunking yourself with every single word you speak. I mean, it's really, really simple. The reason you can't see Polaris from the Southern Hemisphere is because it's due to perspective. It has nothing to do with you being on the other side of a big round ball. Just like I showed you with a flashlight. Once I move the flashlight so far out of your perspective, you can't see it anymore. But the floor is still flat. My floor isn't curved. My flashlight didn't go over a curve. It just went out of your perspective. Um, could still see it, buddy. The only difference with Polaris, like I said, is it never comes into your perspective in the Southern Hemisphere. You never see it because it doesn't rotate. It doesn't move like the rest of the stars in the firmament. And just like if you're in the north, there are certain stars that you can't see that are in the southern hemisphere. And science actually tells you this, as you can see right here. If you can't see the entire constellation, it's likely too close to the horizon line and are too far north or south for complete viewing. Debunks himself again. You can even hear it in his voice as he reads it. Listen. If you can't see the entire constellation, it's likely too close to the horizon line and are Debunked. Too far north or south. Debunked. For complete viewing. Now that's the same thing I told you with the sun. You cannot see the sun over North America from Australia. Except you can. So if you can't see the sun in North America, from Australia, then you definitely can't see Polaris, which is in the center of the North Pole and never moves or rotates or goes anywhere. It does. It never rotates. It never comes over your head like the rest of the stars, the sun and the moon do. So anyways, there's your answer. The reason you can't see Polaris in the Southern Hemisphere is because it's simply just too far away on a flat Earth beyond the limit of our vision. And it was ridiculous. So how about this flat out truth? I've asked this before, but maybe you haven't seen it. How exactly can two different observers, I normally go for three, but this time let's go with two. How can two different observers, one in South Africa and one in South America, both be looking south at the exact same moment and see the exact same stars? Whenever you're ready, matey. Let's all tag flat out truth for this one, shall we? I'll clip this challenge too and make it into a short for him. Well, there we go. What a great finish to a Flat Earth Friday that was. Didn't really answer our question, did he? But for now, we're all done and dusted for another one. Thanks so much for watching today. It truly is appreciated. If you enjoyed it, please do consider hitting that subscribe button. We're on the march to a million now. Uh, and if you really enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up button too. I've been Simon Dan. Have yourselves a cracking weekend and I'll see you on Monday for the first video in the 500k celebration week and it's featuring none other than CC himself. Cannot wait. See you then.